I'm a third year mechanical engineering student um, from Ireland. <laughs> so I'm actually an exchange student. So I was actually only supposed to be there from January through June, but obviously it didn't really work out that way. <laughs> My name is Anel, I'm from France. I actually study at um, Mont in Montreal at McGill University. I'm just on exchange, and but since we have the coronavirus now, I don't know if I'm going to go back home or not yet, but I'm staying here for now. <laughs> I was thinking about going home, I even bought my ticket, but because of like all the like policy change and everything, so um, I just decided not to go home anymore. The ambassador to Ireland in the United States has encouraged, like if you are in a J1 temporary visa, which is what I was, like we would recommend you leaving because obviously our visa expires in June and obviously our health insurance expires in June too. So it's quite like a, you don't want to be in a situation that you're obviously don't have your visa or like you don't have your health insurance sorted out. So we did all decide to make the decision to leave. Right now I'm, Ethan, I'm, uh, I'm here in Italy. I was at UCLA doing a, uh, a project. It was my master thesis, so the big final project of my engineering degree. All the, all the work that I was doing at the university was really remote since like two, two or three weeks before I actually left. So on that, on that side, there was no difference, except obviously for the time difference. I decided to come back to Brazil because my visa, my this work visa was, it uh, was about to expire. My job, the things that I was doing, I could continue to do here in Brazil. I could do it remotely. I'm a film major. So I'm doing a few production co courses. So for my spring quarter, I was planning on like shooting a few films and like make a documentary for my thesis. And now it's all like indoors. But I'm still making them, it's just much harder. And I have to change my structure. In Australia, they're like, they're like basically similar to America. They lock down everything because I'm from Tasmania. Uh, whoever try to go into the island have to quarantine for 14 days. And they're, they're also doing quite a lot of check checks at supermarkets, so you can only enter a few people at the same time. You need a mask, you get hand sanitizer, you get checked on your temperature. In a football stadium, they are constructing uh, like the place for more patients to go there. Shops have been closed, like, uh, re like clothes shops, restaurants, bars, like none of them are open. The only thing that are open are say sh uh, grocery stores, pharmacies, anything that is considered an essential good or essential need. I feel very negative about this pandemic, about this experience with the world. Uh, we've shown like zero cooperation uh, between countries. I suppose you get kind of like frustrated with not being able to go outside and maybe go see your friends. Like I suppose the funny thing was like, talking with all my friends, like I was supposed to be away for six months and everyone was saying, oh, I'm gonna have such a big reunion when I come home and like I've literally not been able to see anybody because like we had to, I had to come home and do my self quarantines. I've done uh, quite a lot of Zoom calls, but uh, I, don't, I don't like that too much to be honest. It's, uh, it's always a bit weird. Social relations are going a bit down, I would say, but uh, the only good side of it is that uh, that's the same for everybody so you just no fear of missing out or anything that makes you feel uh, quite better knowing that everyone else is in the same situation. I'm calling friends every day. Uh, yeah, we all like keep in touch on online. We're doing games. We're, yeah, we have a, yeah, we have fun. There's so many people last quarter, when, like new friends I met, I never thought that it might be like the last time I see ever saw them or like the last few times I'm ever gonna see them. I was like planning on seeing people for this the whole quarter. I was planning on taking same classes with some of my friends. Oh, some theatre classes I was gonna take, they changed to like more theory based. I, I'm still on the same track. Like as long as I like uh, do my online courses, it's fine. Cause yeah, I only have to take 12 credits this quarter and yeah, if I pass, I'm good. Okay, so I have classes from 6 p.m. Irish time to 2 a.m. Um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then Fridays is only from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. So it's actually not too bad. I try to, even in this really bad situation, try to stay positive and look for new possibilities. What I'm learning from this whole situation, whole pandemic, is like, I feel like we should just live at the moment, kind of. It's not the end of the world, like we can 
adapt ourselves and still enjoy our time here, even though it's a, it's, must, it's a little bit difficult, but we can like find alternatives and still enjoy.